The Mighty Mule 352 Easy Gate Opener is designed for installation on dual gates that pull to open into your property. If your gates open out from your property, you will need to purchase a push to open accessory bracket. Refer to your manual for more information regarding push to open installations. The 352 gate opener features adjustable obstruction sensing. This safety feature makes the gate stop and reverse direction within two seconds after coming into contact with an obstruction. Refer to your manual for instructions on how to set stall force settings. Pay close attention to this adjustment if you are installing the opener on a heavy gate or gates installed in windy conditions. Your 352 gate opener also has a convenient auto-close feature. After the gate reaches the fully open position, it can be set to remain open up to two minutes before automatically closing. You can override the auto-close feature at any time with your personal transmitter by pressing the button, resulting in the gate closing immediately. You will receive your gate opener with the auto-close feature deactivated. Refer to your manual for instructions on how to activate this feature. The 352 is battery powered and designed for use with a 12 volt automotive or marine type battery which is not included in the kit. The battery must be placed inside a weatherproof case and located within 6 feet of the opener arm. An 18 volt transformer for maintaining the system's battery charge is included with the Mighty Mule 352. If you will be using the transformer, you will need to purchase enough 16 gauge multi-stranded direct burial low voltage wire to connect the opener to the transformer. Measure the distance from where you will mount the Mighty Mule gate opener to the electrical outlet for the transformer. Do not use more than 1,000 feet of wire. If your gate is more than 1,000 feet from an AC power source, you will need to call a certified electrician to bring the AC power within 1,000 feet or use solar power. The Mighty Mule 352 is also solar capable. For solar applications, you will need to purchase either two Mighty Mule 5 watt or a Mighty Mule 10 watt solar panel charging kit. When using solar to charge the battery, you will not need the 18 volt transformer. Refer to your manual for important information regarding these two different ways to charge the battery on your system. The communication and power cables that allow the master and second gate openers to operate as an integrated system should be run through a PVC conduit to protect them from damage by weed eaters or lawn mowers. Refer to your manual for guidelines for PVC installation and running wire. Make certain that you have all the parts and tools you will need. Refer to your installation manual to confirm that you have everything, as well as to assess whether or not you may need certain accessories or additional materials and hardware as required for your specific type of gate. Before beginning the installation, make certain that your gates are in proper working order, plumb, level, and swinging freely on well-lubricated hinges. Ball-bearing hinges should be used on all gates weighing over 250 pounds. Never use wheels on your gates. Your gate leaves should be installed on fence posts that are firmly secured in the ground. We recommend positioning the opener arms near mid-height of your gates. It may be necessary to add horizontal or vertical cross members to provide stable areas where the gate brackets can be mounted. On round posts of 6 inches or larger, the post pivot bracket may not be necessary for the installation, allowing for the post brackets to be mounted by themselves. In this demonstration, we will be using the post pivot bracket. Insert the 3 8 inch by 2 inch bolt through the center hole of the post brackets and the post pivot bracket. Hand tighten a 3 8 inch flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the end of the bolt. Attach the post bracket assembly and the gate bracket to the opener arm using the clevis pins and bushings. Secure the clevis pins with hairpin clips.